Hey guys, what is going on? It is your host, Marco Medina, on the Made in Aiden channel. I forget that sometimes. Today we're going to be reviewing the Jaybird Bluetooth wireless headphones. Now, I've been using these little things for a while now. I've been using them for a while now. Actually, ever since MKBHD posted his video on his YouTube channel, and I've been using them ever since that. So today I'm going to be re reviewing them. First look at these headphones, you can tell that they're not normal. The combination between black and white really makes them stand out if you ever decide to wear them in public. But like any other headphones, they're very light and surprisingly very easy to handle, but nothing compared to the normal headphones that you get from Apple or any type of Android device. It's easy to use, just hold that middle button and you can turn them off. The top button turns the volume up, the bottom one turns the volume down, hold the middle button again, and it turns the headphones off. You can also use it with Siri, but you have Google, so <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Um, taking a closer look here, you can tell that they're very different. The ears, the way they're shaped, and the way they fit into your actual ear is actually weird. The earbuds come off very easily, and so it's very easy to lose these, and hard to find because they're so small and you can change these depending on how big or small your ears are and same thing with the little wing there you can actually change them out and put in bigger or smaller ones that come with the product once you purchase it for the first time and adjust them to your ears now the other thing that i found cool is that depending on how much tension you want between each headphone you can adjust this little band here to make it smaller or bigger so yeah these headphones are nowhere near from normal and they look amazing in my opinion. Now looking back at the original pouch that came with it when you bought the product again, it has taken some battle scars as well. And once you open it up, I have some aftermarket earbuds because I couldn't find the ones that came with it and the original charger surprisingly. And we can set that off to the side. It's a great case for traveling and to keep all your products nice and tidy, which I didn't do. Now the actual cable is actually very small and it's a simple micro USB charger, nothing fancy aside from the Jaber logo at the bottom there. And as you can see, it is not that big. I have the regular iPhone 6 and it is not much bigger. Great for tra traveling, but it does not give you a lot of distance when trying to charge it. Trying to charge this product is really easy. All you do is hook it up to the wall. You get the extension, the micro U USB extension, get the right ear, open it up and hook it up. A red LED flashes when it's not good and green for when it's ready. So I personally love these headphones. I've been using them for a long time now and they've been great to me. A uh, battery life on this, a full charge can last you up to two to three days if you're not using them heavily. Maybe like popping them in to go to the Mars station or popping them back out. You know, easy stuff. If you use them heavily, heavily, they can easily last you a day. Like completely listen to, listening to them, they can last you a day, a day without any questions. Over the years, the headphones have been taking some damage, and then as you can see, the Jaber logo is trying to fade out, and other than that, they've been built like a tank if they've lasted me through water, through falls, through everything. Overall, the experience with these headphones for me has been fantastic. I'll, mean, I'll make sure to leave my full review for it for my Amazon link in the description down below, right below that like button. And if you guys have any more questions, please let me know in the comment section down below, or you can tweet me at Meninating on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Adios.